Hi, my little learners. Hope you are enjoying the grammar sessions with Mini. So, are you excited to go ahead? We are back at your own learning platform, Learn Forward, with your grammar book, The Grammar Hub by Feather Cap. So, going ahead, we'll be learning chapter 4 that is about the gender today. Are you excited? Let's start the journey ahead. So, I hope you remember what our nouns we have done in the previous lesson. Let's quickly have a recall of that. Nouns are naming words. They give name to anything, anybody. Then, moving ahead in that, we have learnt in grade 1 about the number in nouns. What do you mean by number in nouns? Students, see when we are talking about some nouns, we can talk in singular. Like I say, a boy is playing. I can talk about one. I can talk about many. The boys are playing. Right? So, when I talk about one, that is called a singular noun. And when I talk about many, that is called a plural noun. This we have learnt in grade 1 also. So, let's have a recap exercise. It's shopping time again. What would you like to buy today? See, these are the things that are displayed at your shop. Now, what would you like to buy from all this? Write the names of any six items that you want. And you have to write the quantity also. How many do you want? This is just showcased, displayed there. So, if you want more of the toy cars, you can tell what number of toy cars you want. So, let's prepare the list. Your shopping list. Yes, I want two erasers is already mentioned because two is a, yes, that is a common, that is plural. So, we are going to write two erasers. Right? Okay, tell me students, what else do you want and how many also? Okay, so you want to begin your shopping with toy car. How many do you want? Are you going to have a car racing with such a number of car toys? Okay, so my students are saying they want four toy cars. <coughs> so, this is plural and I will be using S with it. What else do you want? Oh, your pencil is blunt. You need a sharpener. Only one. Okay, so one is singular and I'll say one sharpener. So, half of your shopping list is done. We are left with three more now. Okay, so do you want a pack of crayons from here? These are pencil colors. Okay, you want crayons. So... I'll be writing because you are taking just one pack. I say pack, but the crayons there are many. So we will say pack of crayons. And how many packets do you need? Only one packet. So one pack of crayons. Right? Oh! You love to read story books. How many have you decided to buy today? Three. Good. So this is three story books. And your list is almost done. So just one more thing you can select from here. What do you want? A big sweet teddy bear. Okay, one 
teddy bear and your list is done so let's quickly see how many you are buying one and how many more than one erasers you are buying more than one toy cars also more than one sharpener you need just one and one pack of crayons because packet is one but there are 12 crayons so this is one and this is many in the same choice now the next is your storybooks they are also many they are three and your teddy bear is only one so this was a recap of your one and many from previous grade now we'll be learning more about singular and plural nouns what is singular noun what is plural noun i have just explained to you singular means when we talk of only one that is a singular noun but when i talk of two or more than two that means many so that is a plural noun when we talk about just one person animal place or thing that means just one naming word that is called the singular form of noun for example how many balloons do you see here just one so it's a balloon this is one toy that's one so it's toy this is also singular cute little snail this is one so it's again singular and your favorite toy teddy bear that is also one so all these you see here are singular nouns now let's move to the plural form of nouns when we talk about more than two two or more more than one that means we are talking about many that becomes the plural form of nouns here how many horses do you see yes so this is plural these are two horses and the flowers are three that is also the plural form how many keys do you see here so that is also more than one this is the plural form of key and your favorite summer fruit is here four mangoes yes again this is the plural form now moving ahead we'll be learning how to form plural nouns from singular nouns the first rule is by adding s to the singular names that we have already done in grade 1 also so the general rule is we just add s to the singular noun and make it plural the first rule is we add s to the singular form like book plus s gives you books boy boys dog dogs cap caps van vans pen pens so what do you see we have just added s to these to get the plural form of nouns the next rule is by adding es to the singular noun now for these students you need to remember some magic sounds what are those magic sounds s x Ch, sh, and double s. Z. These are the magic sounds that will help you identify the singular noun to which you will add es to make them plural. Let's see how. Look at this word bus. You just have to check the last word, the last letter, the last sound of the word. Bus. So, do you find this letter in my magic list? Yes, it's here. So, with this, I will add ES to make it plural. The next word is bush. What's the last sound here? Sure. So, is it there in my magic list? Yes, it's right here. That means, what am I going to add to it to make it plural? Yes, see, bush turns to bushes when we talk about it in plural. Beach, again the magic, magic sound 
picture is right here in the list. That means what will you add here? Yes, E S box. Do you find this letter also in my magic list? Yes, it's right here. So we are going to add E S. Good. Buzz. Is the Z sound also there? Yes, this is right here. So we will add ES. Dress again. It's in the magic list. So we added ES to make it plural. It's so simple. We just need to learn this magic list to know whether we'll be adding ES or not. Fox is right there. X. Dish. Yes, the sure sound we have already done like bush and branch. Ch sound is also the magic sound. So to these also we add es to get the plural form. Isn't that easy to remember with this magic list of the ending sounds? Good children. So remember, let us just say them again. S, X. Ch, sh. His sound s and the buzz sound z. This will help you identify the singular nouns to which you will add es to make them plural. Now there is one more ending sound o to which sometimes you add s. And sometimes you add ES. You will have to just remember the words where not to add ES. And that sound O is here. Tomato. We have O at the end. We are adding ES. Similarly with potato. We are adding ES. Hero. We are adding ES again. Now there are a few words that have end, that end in O. They have the last sound O. But still we are using only S. So you will have to remember these words children. Radio, although it ends in O, but still we are adding just S to it. Same is with the other words. Zoo, kangaroo, photo, logo and kilo. Although all these words also have O at the end. But we add only S to make them plural. Can you see? We are not adding ES. So we will just remember these words. Let us repeat them. Radio, photo, zoo, logo, kilo and kangaroo. All these words have O sound at the end. But still we will be using S. We will be adding S to them to make them plural. Yes. Now, let's move to the next rule, students. When the singular noun has Y at the end. For this, you need to check out one more thing. Suppose I say a word K-E-Y. Now, what you have to check Another word is F L Y. Can you see both these words have Y at the end? But both of these will follow a different rule. And what do you have to check out for it? First thing is you will check what is the last letter. Is it Y? The next thing you have to check is, do you remember we have done vowels? How many vowels are there? Yes, you are right. There are five vowels. Can you just call them out? Good. It's A, yes, E, I, O. You, that's brilliant of all of you. So, these are the five vowel students. And what you have to check, 
just to see the letter before Y. Both the words have Y at the end. You have to check out the letter before it. What you see is in this word key, this is a vowel before Y. And in this, this is a consonant before Y. So both, both these words will follow different rule. And what's that? Simply remember when there is a vowel before Y, you will add only S, right? So your key has a vowel before Y, it will become plus S keys, K-E-Y-S. But when I talk about fly, it's not a vowel here. This is a consonant. Can you see? So what I'll do? I will first remove Y from here. I will change it into I and then add ES to it. So my fly in singular will become good F-L-I E-S flies. What will it become? This will become flies. So it's F L I E S flies. So what you have to remember is you will first remove Y. Remove Y means if I just ask one of you, suppose I say Sonam. Get up and sit in place of Rishita. So what will Sonam do? She will first remove Rishita. She will ask her to leave that place. Then she will sit there. Right? So similarly you have to remember that you have to remove Y and put I in place of Y. Okay? So this is F-L-I-E-S. Let's just see some of the examples here. Butterfly. So now all these words are ending in Y students. Butterfly, daisy, cherry, family, lily, dairy, diary, candy, fairy, baby, puppy, strawberry and dictionary. Can you see all these words are ending in Y? So we will just focus on the letter before Y. Let us underline that letter in these words. L. This is L. R, yes, L, what's the letter here before Y? Yes, D, again L and in this diary it's R, fairy again it is R, baby, B, puppy, P, strawberry, R, dictionary, again R. Now what you see is, do you find any of these is a vowel? No, these are all consonants before Y. So what we will do is, we will remove Y and in place of Y, we will write I, then add ES. That means we will add IES after removing Y. I hope you all are understanding. Yes, good. So what we have to do is remove Y then add IES. So this will give you the plural form of these words. Let's see the list next. Here again you have a list of words that are ending in Y. Can you see? All these words. Key, day, toy, tray, donkey, trolley, chimney, jersey, valley. All these are again ending in Y. They have Y at the end. But let's look at the letter before Y. What is the letter before Y here? E. A. O. A. E. Again E. O. That's E again throughout. And what are these? A. E. O. What are these? These are vowels. Yes. 
Now, because these words have a vowel before the last letter Y, only last letter Y students you have to focus on and the letter before Y. So, all these are vowels that is why what are you going to add here? Only S, perfect. So, see K E Y S D A Y S T O Y S T R A Y S, donkey, S, trolley, again only S, chimney, again only S, jersey, S, valley, only S. Have you understood this? Show me your thumbs up. Very good. Let's move to the next rule. Shall we? Okay. So, the next rule is about the naming words, the nouns that have F or FE at the end. Can you say some words that have F or FE at the end? Yes, good. I got a word from a student, wife. Very good. And somebody else is saying scar. Good. Scar. Are these nouns? Do you agree? Are these the name? Very good. So what you see here is F E and F. We have some other words also here on the screen. Let's see them. Calf. F. Loaf. Yes. A loaf of bread. And hoof. What this? Half. And yes, that's a leaf. Knife. So, what do you see, students, here? These are the words that have either F or FE at the end. Wife, life, knife. So, let us write here life also. F E. Right? What's the rule now? Yes, what we will do here? Listen carefully. You will remove this F or F E. Whatever you find at the end. F E, F E, F E, F. We will remove them. This F or F E will be removed. And in place of that, we will add V E S. Z. Right? F or F E will be removed and we will be adding V E S to make them plural. See, calf, F removed. So we are left with C A L and we are adding V E S. Similarly, loaf. Only L O A is left when we remove F and V E S. Hoof. F removed, we are left with only who. And then we added V E S. We got hooves. That is the plural of hoof. Half. H A L. And then we added V E S. We get halves. Leaf. F is removed. So we are left with L E A. And we add V E S. We get leaves. Knife. K N I is left when we remove F E. And we add V E S to it. And you get knives. Come on, let's look at these two words that you yourself have given to this list. And who is going to tell me the plural? Yes. Okay, can you spell it out for me, for everybody here? Yes, yes. Very good. And she says, W-I-F-E will be removed and we will add V-E-S. So, the plural of wife is wives. Brilliant. 
that means you are understanding this now let's look at the next word scarf who is going to tell me from this side yes what do you see at the end of this word good f so you are dropping it and what plural do you get then let's spell it out yes brilliant s c a r is left when we remove f and we add v e s to it it becomes scarves so the plural of wife is wives and the plural of scarf is scarves let's move ahead now what you have to remember is there is a list a few words where you do not change the last ending sound f or f e to v e s you simply add s just like we have done with the o ending words like in photo you add only s similarly we have some list here also some nouns that end in f just need e s only some special words are there that you will remember for example this is chef chefs chief chiefs handkerchief handkerchiefs we are just adding s to them can you see it's not being changed to v e s roof roofs cliff cliffs just adding s and apart from this just few words where you have a choice you can either go with s only or you can change it to v e s also let's read those words also plurals of some nouns that end in f can be spelt in two different ways one is by adding s the other is by adding v e s what are those examples dwarf can be read as dwarfs you can just add s you can also say dwarfs v e s is added same is with hoof hoof you can add simply s or you can also add v e s so you get two choices here you can do either way add s or add v e s with these two words dwarf and hoof easy will you remember these words so students today we have learned some of the rules of changing singular nouns to plural nouns and this is the end of today's session we'll be continuing with more rules in the next part happy learning till then see you take care goodbye